guys. Chad with New England Homesteaders here. How about that bear? He's a big one. He's probably almost four feet at the shoulder. Uh, my neighbors had warned us about him. They saw him in the yard and uh, the guy's wife had taken a picture of him and she was telling him how big the bear was and he didn't believe her. And then he saw the picture and he went out and measured the tree that the bear was standing next to and he's four feet at the shoulder. So there was probably about 180 pounds of deer feed and corn in that feeder and he discovered it. He woke up early apparently, it was warm, and he was up February 3rd I think it was and he hit it every single night until the 15th I think um, and when we walked up on the feeder it was completely destroyed. There wasn't anything left of it. Uh, but I'm up here at the cabin this weekend and I noticed today, I was up here Wednesday and uh, this had not been hit yet. So a raccoon or something tried to get into the beehive so I've got to deal with this this weekend. I don't have the electric fence turned on and um, the bear's awake now and apparently something tried to get into the beehive so I'm going to crack those open. I'll do a separate video on uh, what we find in there and see if we can figure out what the problem was. And I've got three new hives ordered so those will be here in May. But I had a couple friends come up and my dad came up this afternoon and uh, we got the rest of the purlins, those cross spans that go on the top of the roof. And we got the eaves put on, and we're going to go order the metal roof this week. So hopefully we're only about two weeks away from uh, having a weather-tight shed, which will be great so that we can finally clear out the garage and get a lot of that stuff out. Um, waiting to hear back on my tractor. Uh, looks like maybe the insurance company may want to total it. So I don't know. I could end up getting a new tractor. I don't know. It's a good thing I had homeowner's insurance. So we'll keep you posted. Hopefully the next video I'll have an update on that. Uh, got a bunch of stuff going on up here. I'll be making some videos in the coming weeks, but um, figured I'd leave you with this since we got that great footage of the bear lying on the ground with his head in the barrel. I thought I'd uh, do a quick video and just piece together a bunch of the wildlife that we've caught here on the property uh, over the last year that we've been here. Hope you enjoy.
that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed all the animals. You can see over my shoulder this big pile of wood. I was not able to deal with that this week. Uh, the sawmill guy showed up, but he was planning on me using my tractor to help him. So a couple weeks, hopefully we'll have the tractor back up and running, and then we can get all of this lumber sawed up and uh, into planks and stuff that we'll be using for projects here on the homestead in the coming year. So I'll leave you with one more cute clip. A little baby deer with his mom telling him to go get his own food. Hope you guys have a good week and we'll see you again soon.